Hello, hi, how are you today? I want to talk to you about disentangling your twin flames icky stuff that you feel trapped by. Now, for years, I have seen people's comments. I've also done sessions with people and I'm not criticizing people. What I want to say is it's very tangly. It is tangled up and it can, it can be so weird. It can make you feel like you don't have a handle on it. You're trapped in something that you don't want a part of. I'm here to set the record straight. First of all, yes, this is about love. Love is the real deal. There is a thing that happens within the activation, the initial activation of the twin flame. Yes, all your stuff comes up for healing and it can be all kinds of stuff. It's layers and layers of stuff. It's earth stuff, it's cosmic stuff. It's the stuff that's common to all of us. When it comes to what you feel trapped by, there is something to know. Your soul doesn't want you to be trapped. How do you get yourself untrapped or untriggered or unstuck from these things? You have to work your brand new light body, which is what I'm here for. I help with this work. Other people do not have my modality. And I'm gonna say that in all sincerity because that is what people have told me. This not, I'm not trying to be arrogant about this. I'm trying to be real about it. If I don't know, I get the guidance and I format it and I write it down and we tweak it. I can't tell you how many of these notebooks I have where I'm up at night automatic writing to get solutions for people. Are you tangled with your twin flames icky stuff? What about it? Okay, so this is when particularly feminine people feel like they're trapped, stuck. People give money to people that they know are addicts, hoping upon hope that this will change them. It doesn't change them. And furthermore, who knows what's going to change? You know what changes? Transformation. Hitting with a thunderbolt of love. That's what makes those changes. So if you're doing those things, time to set boundaries. If they are abusive, if they are putting you on an emotional roller coaster, if they are treating you weirdly, like they're hot, they're cold, like, oh my goodness. If all the only word you can come up with is a narcissist, please work with me because you need to get off that wheel because it's not a wheel anymore. It's a, it's like the black hole of Calcutta. It is going to like keep you trapped in there to where you cannot see the forest for the trees. You can't figure your way out. Start with me because we have a point of starting. Do you need to be disentangled from your twin flames icky stuff? Okay, what kind of icky stuff can this be? Let me explain it to you. Your soul doesn't want you dragged along behind them, doesn't want them, you to feel like you're stuck at the bottom of the ocean with these insurmountable odds. Your soul doesn't want you to feel like you have no recourse. Your soul doesn't want you to feel like this is the bane of your existence. How many of you feel like this journey has been the bane of your existence and you don't know what to do with your activation? Do you know what to do with your activation or why you were activated? The number one reason is love. And what I mean is so that you can feel and experience 5D love and everything that's supposed to go with it. The intimacy, the inner knowingness. Number two, healing. Because you have to heal things. And when I say heal, I mean get rid of it, fully remove it. That is what my modality does. We fully remove it and get rid of it so it's not a pattern. If you pick up the pattern again, that's your head. Okay, if your body feels icky, maybe you're not doing your part. And you have to do your part. This is a very proactive twin flame ascension. Number three. Okay, so we have love, healing, integration. What is the integration? 
This is the drawing in and situating within your physical body those invisible connections that you need. It doesn't just envelop you. It's a living part of you. And it is also experiential and it is also that life-giving, vital thing that keeps you alive. So if I were to pose a question to you, okay? How do people stay on life support? Okay, our life is supported usually through the brainstem that's parked back here, okay? In order for you to function, to have the autonomous functioning of your physical body, what that means is when you're asleep, you're still breathing. When you've eaten your dinner and you're asleep, you're still digesting. When you get up in the morning, you go and move your bowels. When you are feeling fight or flight, that's different side, but that side can still alarm you uh, in the night if they're, you know, if you have a smoke alarm go off or something, some noise, and you wake up, you've already flipped, okay? It's instantaneous. Your spirit is responsible for all these functions. Your spirit manages these things. So when I talk about the integration of your spirit body, your spirit subtle body, it is much larger than your ego. Your ego can't handle going to the fifth dimension. Your spirit subtle body is the larger part of you that is connected to each other. And if your spirit is telling you, they're doing some icky stuff, I need to be rid of it. Come to see me to help you with this integration. That is not the only part of you you integrate. But for this video, I'm gonna leave it there. So. I hope that this explanation helps you. Please look at the links below. Please join my upcoming events. I always run monthly webinars and I utilize the energy of the new moon and the full moon. I get guidance on it. And that guidance tells me which one is pertinent and what is the purpose in it, okay? In other words, the energetics, what are they helpful for? When I say purpose, what, how's it gonna help you? Can we just like, Focus this and make it simple. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you there. Reach out to me with questions and if you need healing, really deep stuff, please check out my four zone healing. Thank you, bye.